Hello, my name is Gunter Saunders. I'm the project director for eReflect. This project at the University of Westminster is focused on helping students to make better use of the feedback that they receive on their coursework. We have two videos to show you from uh, different types of stakeholders. One is a, a student, a first year student, who participated in eReflect last year, and the other is our Pro Vice Chancellor for Learning and Teaching. I'm Ricky Morgan Tamasunas, I'm Deputy Vice Chancellor and I chair the steering group for the eReflect uh, project. It's a really important project for us because it focuses on assessment and feedback, which is as much an issue for us at Westminster as it is for the rest of the HE sector. The project's important because it's helping us to solve some practical issues as well as uh, helping us to engage in some very fruitful research around how students learn from feedback. Um, the practical things are obviously issues like how we get meaningful feedback to students quickly so that they have it as soon as possible and can learn from it. Um, and the pedagogical issue is around how students reflect so that we understand that and how we can best help them to get the most out of the feedback that they receive. Um, we, did have, we did think at the beginning of the project that maybe students weren't using, uh, and weren't, weren't reading, weren't uh, then reflecting on the feedback that they, they get. Um, but what we've discovered is that they are doing that. Maybe we don't always understand how they're doing it. And the more we can understand about that, the more we can make sure that we give the right kind of feedback, the kind of feedback that's going to be most conducive to them. Uh, being able to use it to improve. So it's really helpful in terms of us learning more about learning the dynamics of learning, if you like. It's got some other spin-offs as well, because having both technical and academic staff working on this very concrete problem together, they understand more about where each of them's coming from and, and what each, uh, each constituency can contribute to cracking a real problem for all of us. Um, it's also um, very good uh, that we are able to see this project not only working for the life sciences staff and students but also being disseminated across the university to other schools who started to uh, become engaged in the project as well and of course uh, to other institutions through presentations at conferences here and abroad. Hello, my name is Dan O'Sullivan. I'm a Level 5 Human and Medical Sciences student from the University of Westminster. I've created a website to inform staff and students more about eReflect and the project that we call MAC, Making Assessment Count, within the university to make feedback better to improve on the National Student Survey. I've created a homepage and under that there's a, a general information page which allows people to understand more about the project, who it's funded by, etc, things like that. Uh, general information about maybe how to use it for staff and how to use it for students and then also there's a page about uh, change management and uh, reflection in business which to show people why it's important. There's also a, an, a section where we can look at any other universities and what they're doing about reflection.